the Dynamic Hornada Landscape. The Hornada Basin Long-Term Ecological Research, LTER site, is located in southern New Mexico, USA, at the northern end of the Chihuahuan Desert. Climate is arid to semi-arid. The Hornada LTER, in collaboration with the Hornada ARS, has a long history of data collection and data recovery from historic records. These records show that dramatic changes have occurred in the desert ecosystems over the past 150 years. The first vegetation map, created in 1858, shows that the Hornada Basin research site was dominated by perennial grasses, with scattered shrubs in many locations. The current landscape is very different in that shrubs now dominate nearly the entire landscape, with small pockets of remaining grasslands. How did vegetation change from 1858 to 1998? Here is our hypothesis. In the early 1800s, upland grasslands dominated most of the landscape, with playa grasslands in the low-lying areas. Creosote bush, mesquite, and tarbrush were distributed on the upper and lower Bajada, in low abundance in the grasslands. From early 1800s to early 1900s, we hypothesized that the following processes occurred in sequence. Grass cover was reduced under periodic drought and overgrazing by cattle. On the upper and lower Bajada, tarbrush increased in cover and abundance. As grass cover decreased, soil and water erosion increased on the upper Bajada, and topsoil was lost downslope. From early 1900s to 1928, a loss in grass cover and abundance continued, with overgrazing and periodic drought. Soil and water erosion increased, and loss of water and nutrients continued on the upper Bajada. Creosote bush increased to dominate over tar brush on the upper Bajada from 1928 to early 2000s. Soil erosion and grass loss continued on upper Bajada and Sanchi. Creosote bush expanded into tar brush ecosystems until tar brush only dominated on lower Bajada. Thus, the Hornada landscape is very dynamic. The patterns in vegetation that we see today are a result of a complex set of interacting factors, including overgrazing by cattle, periodic drought, soil erosion by wind or water, and competition among shrub species for water and nutrients.